Reflector Entertainment is putting on a massive, massive cope. The company announced it was laying off around one fifth of its entire workforce, but claimed it has nothing to do with the success or failure of its games. Roll this up over at fandompulse.com. You can find the link in the description below. I encourage you to become a subscriber over there. Join our mailing list and become a paid subscriber. We are fully reader funded. So if you want to continue getting excellent articles such as this one, uh, become a su paid subscriber and, and help support us. So uh, this was originally reported by Smash JT. Uh, numerous employees for Reflector Entertainment revealed they were laid off within the past 24 hours and are now seeking work. One former employee, a dev QA tester, Lee Desermo, who has the rainbow flag in her banner image and claims to use they, them pronouns posted on LinkedIn. Hi, everyone. I'm seeking a new role and would appreciate your support. If you hear of any opportunities or just want to catch up, please send me a message or comment below. I'd love to to reconnect and uh, this will be a trend a lot of these people use they them pronouns surprise surprise we have sean d he was a lighting artist he also posted this hi everyone sadly i've been affected by the layoffs of reflector entertainment and i'm currently on a lookout for a new role as a lighting artist Kyrie holton who also uses they them pronouns wrote this hi everyone i'm looking for a new role in the games industry either continuing my career in dev QA or taking advantage of my training in Unreal Engine to begin in a development role. Thank you in advance for any connections, advice, or opportunities you can offer. The company's brand manager, uh, Mano Denovelle, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, she wrote this, hi everyone, I was affected by the layoffs at Reflect Entertainment and I'm seeking a new role in marketing or social media community management effective immediately. We got this guy, Benjamin McDonald, uh, he uses they, them pronouns as well. He says, hi, everyone. I'm looking for a new role effective immediately and would appreciate your support. Thank you in advance for any connections, advice, or opportunities you can offer. He was an inter intermediate UI programmer. We've got Casey Hallis. He was a game designer. Uh, he said this, after nearly three years at Reflector as a game designer, it is time to move on looking for a brand new adventure with awesome people in need of a game designer. Contact me. So, Obviously, numerous people posting uh, that they are been laid off by Reflector and are seeking new work. Uh, and it all comes after Reflector announced that they were basically laying off a fifth of their entire workforce. In a blog post, the company's general manager, Mark Andre Seguin, revealed that it was, quote, reducing our team by approximately 18% of Reflector's total workforce. As for why the layoffs were happening, he said this, Today's announcement isn't driven by commercial success or external pressures, but stems instead from our current reality, which is that at this time, we cannot guarantee tangible work for all of the talented individuals we employ. What? What did he just say? It's not driven by commercial success or external pressures. It's just because we can't guarantee you work. What kind of nonsense statement is this? Well, why can't you guarantee tangible work? Maybe it's because your games are commercial failures and didn't make any money. Could that be the reason? He added this. With the recent release of Unknown 9 Awakening and our two key production lines entering the early stages of development, we must make sure that our staff is laser-focused on contributing to the projects that wholly benefit from their skill sets. He then posted this, <clears throat> or wrote this later in the post. This shift will allow us to take the necessary time to refine our processes and perfect our upcoming projects so that we can deliver experiences that are both meaningful and memorable for players. I thought you just couldn't guarantee work. Why can't you? What? What is happening here? None of this makes any sense. Take the necessary time to refine our processes and perfect our upcoming projects. Were you not doing that before? All of a sudden you're doing this now? That Unknown Night Awakening was an absolute disaster? That this game and the ensuing property that you hoped would become like the next Marvel comics was a total failure? And this game was an absolute failure all-time peak of just 285 concurrent players on Steam. 
total, total disaster. Just 39 people playing in the last 24 hours. I actually think this was maybe two days ago. So I think this was maybe on Tuesday. It's Thursday morning now. Remember, this game released on October 18th. It's just, I'm recording this video on November 21st. So this is a month after Unknown 9 Awakening released. And you're telling me it has nothing to do with the commercial success of your games? I don't believe you. I do not believe you. I think you're laying off a fifth of your workforce because Unknown 9 Awakening was a complete and utter disaster. Lost your company lots of money. And now you can't pay your employees. I think that's what uh, is the real cause here, despite what you have to say. And and let's look at the root of this. I think the root is that not only is this a crappy game, but you had Sweet Baby Inc. involved in your Unknown 9 project. They're listed on the Shorty Awards. Kim Belair, Story Architect. Story Architect. CEO of Sweet Baby Inc., Kim Belair. David Bedard, co-founder of Sweet Baby Inc., brand content manager at Reflector. She's a brand content manager when they were cooking up this project, this Unknown 9 project that has like comics, this video game, there's like some novels. Total commercial failure. That is why you're laying off a fifth of your workforce. And then you're going to lie to us. Today's announcement isn't driven by commercial success or external pressures. Who do you think you're kidding? Who do you think you're kidding? You released the game a month ago. It literally only got 285 all-time peak concurrent players. And it literally can't even get over 40 concurrent players in 24 hours. This game was a total commercial failure. You released it a month ago, and now you're laying off a fifth of your workforce, and you're going to tell me it has nothing to do with the success of your game? It has everything to do with the failure of this game. That's what I think. But they found out. They found out. Get in bed with Sweet Baby Inc., you fail. Gamers do not want anything to do with Sweet Baby Inc. They do not want anything to do with the woke agenda. They want nothing to do with these people whose intent is to burn down the video games industry and burn down society. And that is what Sweet Baby Inc. employees want to do. They've admitted that they want to burn down the video game industry. But let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know what you make of them. Reflector Entertainment claiming that they're laying off a fifth of their workforce, but has nothing to do, nothing to do with their game's commercial success or failure. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, especially to each other, and to always, always speak the truth.